so when we do the inject, so if are you gonna record the aspiration too? Yeah, sure. I don't care. Whatever, whatever I'm allowed to do. So you could do that. It's a, it's a little graphic. Sure. So just to kind of let you know, the injection part, um, we'll probably not show that because like it's some proprietary kind of technique. Where you're putting do. it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, where I'm putting it in. Let's see. Well, hang on. Here. Let me go see if the room is okay. ready, and I'll bring it back. Okay. You know, I'm gonna tell you what. This is this is how this is. I mean, this is how science works. We we can know something works. We can be confident that something works. We can wholly believe in, 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 in a process, but until we aggregate the data and we have to be able to scientifically prove that I'll focus on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't look at myself. We have to be able to scientifically prove that um, what we're doing for our you know fellow human beings is uh, helpful rather than harmful. We have to be able to um, validate, prove, and um, convince. And you cannot do that without data. You can't do that without a lot of data. We so. need the data from operations like this. So we're at the ground level, and it's uh, it's it's a very interesting process. Cool. So I think it's going to work out. I think it's going to work very well. So. Couple, 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 uh, couple more of people like me, and they'll, they'll be able to, uh, they'll be able to push yeah. it through. A lot more, a lot more. People. And then I'll be pissed off because insurance will cover it, and it'll be a lot yeah, cheaper. Just getting the room ready, and I'll bring you back. In a few okay, days. sounds good. Okay. When I get it done, insurance is going to cover it. So. <laughs> My right knee suddenly hurts more than it did before I came in here. This next section might be a little graphic for you. <laughs> but I'm going to try and show you as much as possible. Is there any sound like crunching? This microphone will pick it up real nice. The grinding. And he's going to do the, the twisting with the drill, or with the hand drill. Oh, it's brutal. I remember seeing my first bone marrow aspiration at the bedside and thinking to myself, that's I don't want to have one that's of those. That's barbaric. <laughs> God. That's what makes you nervous. You don't want to have a nurse brother. You don't want to have a nurse, a medical medical uh, professional uh, in your family because he will tell you the facts and you don't want facts. That's awesome. You want fairy tale. Fairy tale. All right. So, make sure your drawstring is, is uh, loose. Draw. Is loose. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then what I'll do is I'll have you lay face down here. Head goes over there. Okay. And uh, get relaxed and I'll introduce you to the rest of the team. Best way to, yeah, that'll be good. And you're going to be standing on which side of that? I'm, I'm on this side. Good? Relaxed? Mm hmm And you get to pick which music we're playing. Mm -hmm. What do you like? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Rage Against the Machine? Uh, Love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, so this is the rest of the well, team? I was going to. Uh, that's Tina over there, our nurse. Hi, Tina. Hi, how are you? I'm Jen Tina. is our Hi, medical Tina. assistant. And then you met Kelly, she's at our lab. Hi again. I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping here. Alright, and then we're just going to pull this down slightly. Come on, you sure. pick up your head for me. Okay. I'm going to have you turn towards me and then relax. I think this, okay. this just got PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> There's crack. Why is the stem cells there uh, better for the process? What is it about the hips? Is it just accessible easier? Or? Oh, from here? Yeah. It's uh, they've, they've done studies, and it's showing that this is the richest area to kind of get uh, MSCs from. This is a lot more official than I thought it was going to be. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> There's too many people around. Like, this, is, this is an operation. This is a uh, procedure. This yeah, is a legitimate procedure. I'm like, holy moly, somebody's talking to me in kind voice. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I in for? <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. okay I'm going to keep asking some questions. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, make sure we're tapping. But he'll numb it up, okay? Well, I felt that a little bit. Is it there? Yeah. Still? Still sharp? Yes. That's okay. It is what it is. I don't give a shit. You're going to feel some pressure here, okay? Just getting that trope bar in. Yeah, it's all right. Tolerable? Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Wow. I hope you're zooming in good on that. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, okay. Shot as much as is microbiologically safe. Wow. What do you think? No, it's just I know what you're doing, and I know what I'm feeling, mm -hmm. and it's totally different. The miracle of anesthesia. Truly, Crazy. Re truly revolutionized modern healthcare. I'm an EMT, mm -hmm. and when I went my did my clinicals, uh, they had me watching a cardiac cath, oh, okay. and I passed out. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was on EMT? the ground. 
Just he didn't. I, all I remember is the doctor saying, "Somebody else go where he was." That was like the end of the interview. Yeah, yeah. Just somebody else do what he's doing because he's what worthless. What bothered you most, though? Huh? Yeah. It was it was the blood. the blood. It was just the the profuse amounts of blood. Yeah. The patient, she was a uh, she was in bad shape. You know, oh. she was young. She was my age at the time. She was a sure. teenager, and uh, sure. it's like, oh my god, that could be me. You know, I mean, that was more of it. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. Things, yeah. yeah. First, first, first birth okay. I saw in my OB rotation was pretty traumatic. You need to work out on this one. Mm -hmm. big boy. You got some good bones. You got some good bones. So what are you doing? Are you scraping? No. No, you're going into the bone. You're you're pushing the syringe okay. into the bone and you're trying to get underneath that outer edge or mm -hmm. you're actually the, going in the bone. Into the bone. You're going in. Hurt. That's why there's so much force. He's using a trope bar to go in, to bury, like almost drill into the bone. Okay. It's like a hand drill. It's almost like when you put your IVs in. <laughs> I am. I'm literally asking you to make me the most uncomfortable ever. But but I'm actually interested. But so it's a hand drill. You're no, moving in. His, but he's using his hands. You can use a drill. Some of the some of the positions. And then once you're between the two major surfaces, you're into the actual inner surface of the Where's bone. It, yeah. You know, in China, I had a open. Wow, my is my voice this deep? Yeah, yes, it <laughs> it's is. Not good. It's, it's fantastic. Not yours. Yours. Oh wow! What you say? I have good bones. What? Why? What is? What is the? It's is it? A, they're hard or they're density? Yeah, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah I can it's see. The difference you. between drilling into a piece of oak or a piece of pine. It's so wild what you're doing and what I'm feeling right now. It's, because you feel all the pressure and the movement from yeah. the tissue around the site, but you yeah. don't feel the pressure and the, and, and the pain and the discomfort directly at the, the site. worst thing was the needle that shot the thing that won't make yep. me feel this. <laughs> I, it's <laughs> crazy. I'm going to be, oh, I felt that. There we oh, go. There. Hey, Beautiful. That cheek cramp. Yep. Okay, oh, yeah, there you go. He's got yeah, a nice, nice pocket there, okay? Was that side better than the other side? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Interesting. You said you can quantify the amount of stem cells. I can do that. You said you could quantify the amount of stem cells. So, yeah. oh my God, my voice is going deep again. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. how much is? Uh, what are you looking for? What is what is a good amount of stem cells to sure. do the procedure? So, anytime we can get over ten thousand um, units per microliter. Given a job the cable? Yeah. This is, this is lower. Lower. Can you tell by color or consistency? Yeah, or not till, you would have to look at it on the in the lab. Yeah, not until Kelly does oh, his thing. Yeah. What's the volume in CCs that they normally pull? 90? Okay, so it's fair enough. Yeah. This case is Oh my god, did you just pull that out of my bone? Did you feel it? No, but I saw it. <laughs> it's like pulling a nail out of a board. Yeah, kind of. Really? Yeah, it's it's so wild. Yeah, it's perfectly. Well, and I'm yeah, awake yeah, for it. Isn't perfectly. that crazy, Andrew? Yeah, well. I mean, I'm asking the choir, but all of you are the choir. <laughs> I'm the only ignorant see, guy in this whole place. Day. I did the same thing you were doing when I got mine done. I was taking pictures and we took documentation. And what What did you get done? I had my left knee and my right shoulder done. This is the one I wish I had a drill. <laughs> oh, a drill? Yeah. Surprised you guys don't use those IO drills. We thought about them. We never really needed them, but. Nice so you're pushing into my bone with a, is that a point or is that like a drill bit where it's there's a, like a chamfered edge on the edge? A big needle. It's, it's got like a like carbide a, bit on the bottom of uh, it. Like so there and is a bit at the end. there's holes on the sides of the needles. That's where the bone marrow is coming through. So it takes okay. the inside of the needle out, the stylet, and then it sucks through and it comes out the top. Wow, that's so wild. Because inside the bone, it's like a lattice, right? Mm -hmm. so, so, so you're trying to break through certain points of that lattice, like a, like a honey bone yep. pocket? The drone for oil. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, can't believe oh, but That's a good pull on that side. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice, beautiful flow. You okay? Yeah, okay. You can squeeze if you want. Yeah, squeeze? I don't mind. Good job. 
That's it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're not going to hurt me. Beautiful. Number two down. How you doing, Matt? It's doing good. That last is out. Went straight to my sphincter. Yeah. Like, straight. <laughs> Very straight. Right good there. thing he had his but coffee this yeah. morning. Left. A little bit of here. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Big jolt here, okay? Coming out. You're all done. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving some yeah, for the road. We have to finish on the other side. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. How many do you have? I've done it. Oh. So you'll pull one from the side, three from that side, and then came back. What's that? So all you're seeing is a hole in my back, or like, what are you actually seeing the from there? The same thing, like a puncture wound, like someone stuck a needle or an IV in your arm. Just as large. Oh, yeah. Then you went in there. I felt that. That's it. You have the record of the hardest bone ever in this clinic. <laughs> Okay. Gotta be good at something, Matt. Do I have to be proud of our? Yes, I would boast about it. It's gonna help you with the osteoarthritis and your osteoporosis right. in the future. Okay, okay, I'm yeah. proud of it. As we're all walking around, around all yeah. humpbacked and collapsing. Honestly, though, how many people know that? How many people are able to say that they have yes. a very hard no. bone? Oh. Not many. Not many. What a strange yeah. thing to know. Beautiful. Once you get there, it gives you a good Ooh, bone. Oh, yeah, that was weird. Okay. You just have to get there. What was that? What was that? He's pulling the bone there. So it's like... Pulling? So it's almost like when you draw blood, right? Put the catheter oh, okay, in, okay. and then they just... And then you see it coming out of the tubes. Yeah, it's it's right. Right. I felt that. Pressure, yeah, pressure, pressure. It's a negative pressure in your bone. Oh! And you're feeling the, the, exactly. the suction from that closed space Even inside when of your bone. the thigh let out, it changes the pressure changes within the pressure. The pressure. Wow. Yeah. You feel that pressure, yeah. So somewhere, pressure? someone thought to put nerve endings on the <laughs> interior of your bone so that you could feel someone just in case. Someone thought to put bone, uh, to put nerve endings everywhere. What a weird thing. So for the record, it's not usually this hard to do, but I made it extra hard. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Give me that back. Right? Oh, you worked for it, Doc. I'm making you work for your money. Oh, you worked for it. He certainly did. Knowing how much work he put into that thing yeah. is like, I am going to be in pain yeah, later. Yeah, you sure are. You sure are. But he, it was Did you get that was, on video? I, I got everything. I got the whole thing. Everything. That's not, that's not PG-13. No, no, I see with ass crack and everything right there. You, you might have to do put some a smile on your face over like, your bum. For yeah. graphic content. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, that was, that was I a, that could was feel what you were doing back yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Just just slide down oh, they did, way they did an incredible up, okay? job. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm mobile? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, sit on the side of the bed. I want you to sit down. Yeah, I'm going to take them all at night, Make sure you don't follow. You're too big to pick up. Yeah, I can see. Even though you were good, you get sweaty. Involuntary sweatiness. You feel nauseous? It happens. I can walk. I'm fine. Yes. Three yes. routines? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. the room. Did you yeah. leave your shoes in the back? Yeah. Okay. I'll follow you back. All of that was to take the stuff out, and now they're going to put it in. they got to put it back in. I could feel him cranking. Well, wait till you see the video. Yeah, they did an incredible job. The, I mean, the, they're very professional. They were diligent. They were um, uh, clinically um, safe. They just did an excellent job. I mean, that was they—they they worked hard. You did. I mean, really, I can tell by the amount of work that he did that you have significant bone density. And, and it's funny that you say that about your dad because your yeah, dad yeah, had. Was, I remember them making that yeah, comment. That was a heavy bag. So that is a genetic, uh, you know, that that's a genetic, you know, um, reality. You. That's a good thing. That's a, a strong bone density is great. In fact, we people do bone density studies, you know, as you age, to determine whether or not people have, you know, uh, diagnosable osteoporosis, and then we treat that low bone density to increase the bone density. I'm sure there's a threshold with which, you know, bone density ultimately becomes pathological, but I think that you just got excellent bone density. Wow. He had to work his ass off to get in there. So wow. it, was, it was very interesting to watch. Jeez. Yeah, how you feeling? I am, I know how hard he was working. Yeah. And that's a little bit unnerving. Yeah, I know you're gonna be sore later. Uh, so that is where the blood goes. Yep, the centrifuge is literally gonna spin that. The heavier molecules are going to float to the bottom and the lighter molecules are going to float to the top. And we actually know 
where what uh, weight molecules uh, settle in this tube, and then we can pull the substances that we need based on their position within the exactly. tube. Exactly. Yeah. So centrifuge phoresis technology. So the composition of his bone marrow is outstanding. He has a um, high monoclonal uh, count, which is closely linked to the number of stem cells available in the blood, and his is uh, more than twice as uh, numerous as like the patient prior. Wow. Um, without any, you know, revealing any, any information, but it's far above average, which should indicate based on volume that there should be a very high yield of um, uh, yeah. stem cells. By per volume. capita. By volume. Yeah. Yeah, which is outstanding. Much like your bone density, your Income. bone marrow <laughs> density is... Uh, is yeah, equal, okay. equally robust. How are you feeling? It's, it's very similar to the time I passed out when I was watching that, mm -hmm. uh, when I was an EMT, and it was just the idea of knowing what they were doing mm -hmm. that was the most um, unnerving. unnerving mm -hmm. You know, So I'm like going over in my mind the idea that he was <laughs> pushing hard. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. All right, Andrew just, uh, just went to the bathroom, but... Very, very interesting. The process of actually removing the marrow is, is, is a lot more um, animated than I thought it was going to be. I also am noticing that the light here is making the top of my head just gleam. I'll just have to do this. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah, it's quite interesting. The next part is actually injecting the stem cells into my knees, which is going to be uh, pretty aggressive as well. He says it's going to be pretty painful. But uh, again, no pain, no gain. The whole point of this thing is to uh, make it so that I can have good knees for a long, you know, the rest of my life, basically. So having to go through this, well worth it so far. So we're not able to videotape the injection. We're not able to videotape the injection because that's apparently proprietary to this practice. And so they are gonna, so they're gonna, they're gonna do the needles in my knee. That's proprietary, so they can't show it. But I'll be back and I'll let you know. I don't know. Were you just telling them that? I was just telling them that. Okay. So what he? This said. would be better. This is actually a good. See ya. That thing. Wish me luck. See you in a few minutes. You know that music. Dude, nice. I heard you screaming from down the hall, man. I told him they had to put off that music because you can't have any <laughs> copyrighted music playing during my monologue. Dude, it's funny because I actually was I actually so, so I, I heard you scream it so I queued up the camera. Did you hear it? I heard it low. So I came down here and I saw the door closed, so I didn't want to go in. But I go so I go to the camera, turn it on, I'm like, so I heard Beth scream down the hall. I went into the thing there and then the camera died and I'm like, son of a bitch. So I so I put a new battery fresh in. Battery. So I put a new battery in. No, I put a new battery in and it's did the same thing and it was like, so Matt was screaming down the hall. And I went in, and then in the middle of that, the freaking camera died again. I'm like, son of a bitch! So I, I thought I, you were gonna say my I, my scream had started no, again. No, I didn't scream started, but I pushed out a third battery, which happens to be a whole one, so. We know where the source of the pain is. Looks you like you're smoking hookah right now, bro. Yeah, you know what? Hookah, that's very true. Now, like, you can hear the craziness in my voice, right? Because mentally, I wasn't sure if I was hearing my voice lower or if my voice was actually there's, lower. There's and they're like, of, yeah, my vocal of, cords are actually yeah, there's changing. There's a lot of bass and echo in his voice right now. It's resonant. Hey, baby, how's it hey, going? Baby, how you doing? This and is Matthew, not, your, and he's not your high as giant. Uh, and it's, it's cool <laughs> that you get to just, you get to, you get to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you pay for the difference. That's what he said. He's like, I just want it for a few more minutes. Yeah, yeah. If, if I'm getting it, you're giving it, all right? This is how it's going down, baby. You're getting some real pain medicine when we get home, too, so don't worry about it. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down the street? Down the what? What, what road are we at? Down the... Heartbreak. Heartbreak corner of the street. The dog? Heartbreak. Uh, Heart hotel. But, 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 but a hound dog. Hound dog. Hey, but a hot dog, baby. That's what I'm talking baby. about. Ooh, the baby. That's where it really was good. At the end of the baby. Baby. You guys did. Listen, you better yeah, turn you that off. Because the more I use, job. the more Thank I'm going to take. Much. That's all I'm, I know. I'm taking it. <laughs> one last one. One last pump. Last call. Okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. You might die. I don't know. You know, the interesting no. thing about it. <laughs> Like you know, professional you know, I mean, that. honestly, at least, at least one of honestly, <laughs> you know, we, we all understand scrapes, scratches, bruises, all of these things that are superficial. But as soon as things start happening underneath, 
inside your body. It's hard to, it's hard to like explain, explain or or even like uh, empathize, but it is a very very unique. I don't know what my brother heard, but when when that needle poked, you could feel it. Oh, that's that's oh that that's uncomfortable. But as soon as it went under, mm -hmm. and it started actually moving to the places he wanted to insert mm -hmm. that stem cells. Do you still have the stem cell container over there? No, we, it's gone. No, it's gone. Yeah, they've been All of that was inserted, right? Correct. All of it? He used he every drink. He used everything. You're not um, going to go home and give yourself a little dose of mat. Yeah, no, that's not. that's not recommended. You'll have, you'll have a severe allergic response. <laughs> yeah. if, if you don't, listen, if you got well. any leftover, I want to drink that, okay? Because... How much did you, how much volume did you get? That was a lot. Out of that 90 cc's. Uh, did he have a ball part? Yeah, cc's. twelve. Right, so so twelve cc's. Cc's. That was a lot. Okay. That was a no, lot. No, no, no. That's a, that's a that's fair. Not, that's a lot. I mean, the vial that. was yeah, that you know, was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of uncomfortableness, you know, and it was very. It was a deep. It was a very deep uncomfortableness, mm -hmm. deep within my knee. I mean, obviously, you know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Whatever they need to do in order to get the job done is what they need to do. Yeah. So you don't worry about it. Whatever it's going to be. Surgical pain and visceral pain. Is different. It, you know, it is what it. Right now, I feel uncomfortable on a level one to ten, about three and a half, four. That's it's high it's as shit. That's why. Well, I was I was talking. I was talking. <laughs> I was giving the hookah. I was giving the hookah. I do like myself a hookah. But uh, you know the um, the pain and uncomfortableness that you feel obviously is is, is doing that's what you're doing. As a matter of fact, the inflammation is what you want. Mm -hmm. Unlike other procedures where you immediately try to suppress the inflammation, there's a lot of liquid packed mm -hmm. into that joint mm -hmm. that uh, came out of you know my, my pelvis. It's very very interesting, you know. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Feel okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Do you want to sit on the side of the bed? Sure. All right, I'll go ahead and pull this. There you go. Now, when you stand, so that's for it's going to be you. very, very full. Your okay. Knees, you're not going to hurt anything. Okay. So there's no. no there's no damage I can do by, by standing up. No. And so this evening, you can just relax, but you can walk around, get to the bathroom, take a walk around the kitchen, those kind of things. But you're just, for the most part, going to relax. Sure. You're good. You're not yeah, I'm good. I'm not, not lightheaded. Not just dizzy. Now, did you bring your telephone in here? Is this one yours? That's yes. fine. Go ahead. Oh, goodness. It's it's mounted to the desk. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> a <to> magnet. <the cart. laughs> Ooh. That's Holy moly. moly. It's spicy. I'm mean, gonna just spicy. gonna walk with you, okay? It's spicy. This side is a lot worse than the other side. I don't know. Does which is your, which you the more, more damaged side? Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. Did you put any more in one side than the other, or was it the same? I put it the same. I put okay. it the same. From a doctor's standpoint, can you feel where the stuff is going? Like, you can feel it going into these interstitial Yeah, spaces? we see it from uh, the ultrasound, so okay. we can see exactly where it's gonna go. And then also, yeah, there's some resistance depending on the tissue we're going to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so, what happens now? I, I'll sit here for a little while, or I'm good to go, or you're, you're if, good if to you're go. ready to go, you should be good, good to go. Okay. You're feeling well. I send your prescriptions over to Walgreens, so ours. it should be there by the time you get there. And then just for your backup, if you need it, if you don't need it, just stash it away. Yep. Yep. And then, but and now it's just rest and heal. Okay. That's uh, that's the hardest part. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome. absolutely. Okay, so that was it. Um, Pain is painful. Didn't feel pleasant, but uh, you know what? If you have a moment of, of unpleasantness for a lifetime of the rest of the lifetime of, of good good joints, it's well well worth it. So I will be continuing to do videos like this uh, and revisiting my knees from time to time, and hopefully you guys who are interested in this and having this sort of a therapy down the road can empathize with my situation and make a decision for your own self. But I thought that getting this in my 40s, in my early 40s, was a good way to go as opposed to waiting until it was a no-go no time and I, I had no meniscus. So this was the reason that I did this, and you guys can judge uh, based on my experience whether you want to do it the same way I did. But I thought it was a good value, and hopefully over the course of time we'll be able to give you more data to make your own educated decision. Good old man. Thing. I just got to get a couple shots of him walking like an old man. There's balloons in my knees. <laughs> It's a very weird feeling. <laughs> I don't care who you are, that's funny. <laughs> uh, there it is. Darren's moving. Ladies, Hi. thank you for everything. You're, you're walking like your dad. You look so much like your dad right now. <laughs> really? You look so much like your dad, it's uncanny.